up a big exclusive on the CBI charge sheet that will be filed soon in the Ishrat Jahan encounter case. CBI is uh, to file its charge sheet in that 2004 encounter case. NDTV has learned from CBI sources that the charge sheet will say Ishrat was an innocent college girl and not a terrorist to kill Chief Minister Narendra Modi. Sunitra Chaudhary now joins us in the capital for more on that. Uh, Sunitra, what more details do you have on this charge sheet that's to be filed? Well, this is actually the biggest confirmation that the CBI is making. If you recall, when CBI filed its first charge sheet earlier, uh, in this case, the biggest criticism was that CBI left the antecedents of all those four who were killed in the fake encounter with CBI simply said it was a fake encounter. They left it in the air. They just kind of traced the details of how they were picked up by the Gujarat police in collusion with IB officials and then they were killed in the encounter. They didn't really go into the antecedents of it, keeping in mind the Gujarat High Court order which said it's not your job to say whether they are terrorists or not. You should just look at how they were killed. But in this final supplementary charge sheet, CBI will trace their details of saying that how they were there, the circumstances which brought them there. And in those circumstances and giving those timeline of how the events occurred, how is it that they ended up in Gujarat, that a, uh, someone from Maharashtra, Isha Jahad, the second year college girl from Maharashtra ended up there, they will be breaking it down. And in that, they will conclude that Isha Jaha was someone who was happened to be there, who was not a terrorist. What's also interesting is to look at the antecedents that the CBI has concluded about the other three people. Javed Sheikh, our sources tell us, CBI uh, has is suspects is that he's an intelligence informer, and they are yet to decide whether they will clearly say that in the charge sheet or not. But that is what their findings have found. As regards the other two, uh, that is Amjad Ali and Zishan Johar, CBI sources say that while they have found that both of them were non-Indians, the same thing that the Gujarat police has said, they will, however, say that they cannot conclusively say whether they are terrorists or not, but they will conclude that these are non-Indians. So very significant conclusions that the CBI is expected to give in in their supplementary charge sheet, which is expected around the 20th of this month. Sunitra, so, uh, what does this, uh, the charge sheet, will it say anything about DG Vanzara? You remember his letter where he had alleged that the politicians had hung out the policemen to dry, so as to speak. Well, one of the most significant developments of this has been that jailed IPS officer DG Vanzara, who's been charge sheeted in the other cases as well, which is the uh, Saurabuddin fake encounter and the Tulsi Ram Prajapati one. DG Vanzara's letter bomb created a huge amount of embarrassment uh, for the Gujarat government because in that he talked about how Narendra Modi is the one uh, who had and how Amit Shah was behind a lot of these things. And so the CBI went, took permission from court and went to jail to question him. And they said that they spent three days trying to question him in jail. However, they say, our source is now telling us that DG Vanzara was completely uncooperative. He refused to answer any questions. He refused to give any details of all that he had indicated in that letter in which he had said that you were our God. He says of Narendra Modi, you were our God, but you let us down while talking about all of this. Uh, so they wanted to get to the bottom of it. However, they say that DG Vanzara didn't help them at all. What we can tell you though, that CBI sources also telling us that all the loose ends that were left in the Ishrat case, all any kind of questions that were left behind from the first charge sheet will all be answered in, in this second final one. Uh, it's also the time that the one of the main officers in this case will be retiring and so they want to make sure that it's all tied up before he does. Sridhar, you were talking about the antecedents of those so-called non-Indians. Will the charge sheet answer questions about what they were doing there? Well, they will try and look up the details, but they are saying, our sources are saying, that it is inconclusive evidence. And that's why, because they don't also want to upset or go against the Gujarat High Court's order, they will perhaps refrain from the words uh, of saying terrorist or not. What is very clear though, that they say that they will give 
the details and the timeline of how they were there. We know, of course, that they've already said how months before the encounter they were picked up by the Gujarat police and by IB officials. This part of it will give much more details of what actually brought them at their state. Now, of course, our source is saying that they want to keep some of these details. Also, they're also getting legal opinion of how much of it will be required for the case. But they're saying at the end of it, all questions about them will be answered. Sunita Chaudhary with those exclusive details on the CBI charge sheet, uh, which uh, according to her sources will be filed around the 20th, saying that Ishrat Chahan was an innocent college girl and the two others killed were not Indians.